Okay, let's get done with this. Rich! <laughs> okay, seriously guys, if you don't think I should become an actor, just let me know in the comments below. Anyway, hey guys, my name is Rajvish Soin and welcome to my channel. A few days ago, I stumbled across this topic that's going really viral on YouTube. It's called Assumptions About Me. Basically, what happens is YouTubers or Instagrammers ask their followers to make assumptions about them and then they respond to the assumptions and I thought it was pretty hilarious and I think it's also a really awesome way which you guys can get to know us what we are in like real life so I thought I should make a video on this as well and I went on to Instagram asked you guys to make some assumptions about me and here they are so let's get started okay so the first one it's actually a question not an assumption is that an assumption question Okay, do you do drugs? Uh, do I look like I do drugs? Okay, anyway, no, I don't do drugs. Probably alcohol, but is alcohol a drug? One of my one of my clients said I charge them extra, and no, I didn't charge you extra. I charge a set rate for every client. Dude, I ain't unfair like that. I'm nice. You're gonna die lonely, useless YouTuber. <laughs> Uh, someone said you're too cool. I'm sure that's not an assumption though truth. Oh, thank you I am actually cool like ask my friends. They'll tell you I'm cool. I'm pretty cool Someone said I just shoot weddings so that I can eat the food um, It's actually true like I that's one of if you were to rank reasons why I, I shoot weddings uh, I think I would say the third reason why I shoot weddings is because of the food. I mean I love food and weddings, free food. <laughs> Why not? You're straight. Yes, I am. I'm not gay. I'm straight. I'm fat. Um, actually, I am slightly like a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm getting. I'm, I'm gaining a belly, but I wouldn't say fat. Probably. I don't know. Chunky. I can drive and yes I can, I can drive. I can drive a manual car and automatic. I mean, of course, if you can drive manual, you can drive automatic. I actually really enjoy driving manual. I'm, I, I wouldn't say I'm like the best driver. Like on the road, I'm usually thinking about like squirrels and stuff like that and probably end up hitting a bike or something, but uh, I can drive. So, I mean, that's for me. You have no girlfriend. So lonely. Okay, actually, the truth is, well, I have no girlfriend, and the reason why is because I kinda don't have time for a relationship right now. I mean, I'm so busy, like, with all of this that, like, I hardly get time to meet my friends, meet people in general, and it's just like, uh, it's so hard to form a relationship. So, I'm single right now, and uh, I'm not looking for a relationship anytime soon. I'm so hardworking. Yes, that I am. I I spend at least 90% of my days I spend working on uh, emails, trying to look for new projects, uh, working on past projects, trying to figure out uh, how to progress my businesses. And yeah, so I could say I'm, I'm hardworking. No assumptions. You're cool and amazing the way you are. You're the best. Um, you're a very likable person as far as I can tell. Uh, I agree, I mean, I don't have many haters out there. But, uh, everyone I know likes me. Actually, everyone I know loves me. Uh, because the thing is, uh, and I'm actually a very big believer about this, is that when you meet someone, when you meet friends or people in general, like show them who you are completely. Don't just show them a side of you that you think they'll like because then why would you have a whole bunch of friends who would just like you instead of a whole bunch of friends who love you so fortunately for me and my personality like it's very likable so everyone that I come across like they enjoy my company to say the least okay that you are married uh, I'm not married either I'm single AF uh, someone says I'm a flirt. <laughs> <laughs> ok, 
okay, guilty. Yeah, I, I am a little bit of a flirt, but I mean, like, I'm single. Why not? Okay, you talk a lot. Uh, yes, I do. I, I, I talk a lot. Like, if you get me started on a topic I'm really passionate about, yap, 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 all day long. So, yeah, I'm really talking. Good news. You will be a trending YouTuber soon. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the growth is coming. I mean, we grew just about 200 subscribers in the past two days, which is what? You guys are so awesome. I am so grateful for you guys. Thank you guys so much for sticking around and thank you so much for being here. So someone said you're pretty much an asshole. He's a good friend. Why are you my friend then? Huh? 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 Okay, it's fun to be an asshole to my friends sometimes, I mean... Who isn't an asshole to their friends? It's it's just general, like you bully your friends, they bully you back. Why not? That's what makes friendships like really strong, you know? You know, you have each other's backs, but then like you can annoy each other or just be assholes to each other, so... Someone said that I am anti-social. Um, I wouldn't say I'm anti-social, I mean I could easily speak to groups of people if I had to. Okay, it's like a it's like a 50-50 like if I have to I'd be able to go and like socialize with a whole group of people but if I had the option of just like eh, staying in my own comfort net of my group of friends and stuff like that then I'd just stick with my group of friends but I mean uh, I think I would say I'm social. I am pretty so someone says I'm a charismatic and humble lad. God bless. Thank you, dude. Uh, yeah, I am actually humble. Charismatic, probably. I think ever since I started my YouTube channel, my charisma has grown over time. Like if you if you watch one of my old videos, it'll just be like, is this the same guy? Cause so I think with YouTube, my charisma actually grew. Uh, but being humble, yeah, I've always like I've always believed in being humble and uh, just generally just um, not forgetting the place where you've come from. So someone says I'm nice. <laughs> I, I I am nice. Thank you. I am nice. Okay, my brother says you're an adopted and. <laughs> an adopted animal uh, no I'm not I am <laughs> I am a true son of my mother and father so yeah you're probably the adopted animal so someone said I am very religious I wouldn't say religious but more of I believe in the universe and positive vibes Wake up, be grateful for my life, be grateful for everything I have, and be grateful for everything I will have, and just be very excited about the, what the universe has in store for me. Uh, the other thing is, well, yeah, I keep my facial hair because in my religion we believe facial hair and hair is a gift from God. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't say I'm too religious after that, like, so that's the cut off point. Someone says, I'm an only child. I don't know, you seem spoiled. Am I spoiled? Okay, well, I am a last born from a family of six. So I have two brothers and one sister, and I'm actually, it's, it's, you, you won't even believe this, but I'm actually kind of the runt of the family. Like, if I was to stand in front of my brothers, they're huge! And then there's me, it's just like, I'm. They, they bully me about it, but nah, whatever. But I think I would say I am spoiled because I do get my way sometimes, but not spoiled to the level where I'm like a brat. I'm just spoiled to the level where it's a reasonable level of spoiled. So I want to come to the last assumption uh, which has been made about me by quite a few people. And I'm just gonna read this one. I'm a rich kid who is lucky enough to go around filming beautiful places and escapades. Es es escapades? Es escapades? Whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm actually not a rich kid. I wish I was a rich kid, but I am not. Everything that I've got in my life till now, I've actually had to work for 
extremely hard. In fact, this travel life, I'm, which I'm so grateful for, was a whole plan that I was working towards. It's been like three years now since I've actually come to this point where it's like, okay, let's travel. I studied really hard in school. I tried to maintain a wedding photography business and then I tried to expand that to grow a whole team and at the same time still studying. And it wasn't easy. It was actually very, very difficult. You know, um, it was late nights, early mornings, sometimes crying myself to sleep. Uh, yeah, honestly, I cried myself to sleep because that's how hard things got. And I stuck with it through thick and thin, you know, I never gave up. Now I'm fortunate enough to travel. But again, even when I do travel, it's not like I go and blow all my money on travel. I'm fortunate enough to have these skills of photography and video, which I can pitch to these different hotels or tourism boards and tell them, hey, okay, I can make this video for you and uh, I, can make this, I can take these photos for you. Are you guys willing to provide for me X, Y, Z? And that's how I get to travel without paying so much because I mean, it, it just doesn't make sense for someone like me who's in my 20s to instead of investing in my future I'm going and blowing all my money on travel so yeah I'm not a rich kid long story short I'm not a rich kid so guys I hope you enjoyed watching this video getting to know more about me and uh, I actually really enjoyed making this video because I've in my videos I don't quite give so much like personal information so this was actually really cool i feel like we know each other better now anyway i hope you guys enjoyed and uh if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace fan of the day